What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to 303 Streets. I'm Brandon Lechuga and thanks for checking out the video. Um, so today I'm going to tell you, you know, some of the ways to get more horsepower out of your Chevy Silverado. Um, and it also really depends on, you know, each person's probably going to have a different experience with their, you know, 4.8 liter. Uh, if yours is, you know, stock and not lifted, it might have a little bit more horsepower, like a little bit more torque, or might feel like it at least. Um, if you're like me and you have, you know, a six inch lift, 35s on it, 20 inch wheels, you're probably experiencing like a lot of lag, um, a lot of lack of power, a lot of lack of torque, just all in general, loss of power in uh, the truck. So, you know, what I did to, you know, get more horsepower was I did a throttle body spacer and I felt the, you know, the torque response and the throttle response. I felt like that was a pretty good investment. I also did a cold air intake to, you know, help get a little bit more power um, and help with the gas mileage because with the lift and the tires and the wheels, your MPG goes down quite a bit. So I did that to help. And then I also did the headers and the exhaust to get a little, you know, the exhaust to get a little bit more pushback, um, clear up the flow a little bit too and help get more power out of that. And then the, the headers to also, you know, those supposedly supposed to get around 30 horsepower 30 torque out of those so <clears throat> i did some aftermarket headers to help you know get a little bit more power out of it all in all i'd say doing those mods the throttle body spacer the cold air intake the exhaust and the headers i noticed a pretty good amount of torque and a little bit more get up and um power wise i wouldn't say i felt a lot of horsepower gain out of it um mostly just torque all in all and that's what i was going for because i was using my truck to tow my kawasaki terex so i've noticed um a lot of torque a lot more get up and that's what i was going for so those are a few of the mods you can do to help get some of the power back um a little bit more cheap a little bit more you know not as quality not as uh, much power as you're gonna wanna get, but um, with my 4.8 liter, I definitely noticed a difference. Uh, a few of the other mods you can do to help, you know, get a little bit more horsepower, get a little more torque, um, better response on the throttle and stuff like that would be, <clears throat> especially if you have a lift and you have bigger tires and bigger wheels, would be doing uh, your gears. You're gonna wanna swap out your gears and your differential, and that will help a lot with, um, once you lift it and you put bigger wheels and tires on it because the biggest thing is those gears were meant for the stock height they weren't meant for the lift uh so swapping out the gears definitely will help with the power definitely help with the torque um it will make riding on the highway a little bit more rough but i mean that goes along with the lift kit and the you know the aggressive 35s that you throw on your truck those don't really help with the ride either so um Swapping out your gears will definitely help a lot. That's a little bit more expensive. When I looked, it ran anywhere between a thousand to two thousand dollars to swap the gears and get uh, the correct ones you need for the lift. So yeah, that that's a little bit more pricey. Um, it's gonna run you a little bit more, but in the long run, it's probably definitely worth it. Uh, the next thing you can do to get more power and torque, and it being a rather easy mod, and you know, not really that expensive i mean it is expensive but it's not terrible would either be doing one of the bulldog tunes or the um the diablo tunes <clears throat> those can run anywhere between you know 300 and i'd probably say 350 to about a thousand depending on what setup you get but that will also get you the most bang for your buck and if you get one of those that will also help a lot with all the other like add-ons that i did that would help a lot with those because you can you know set you know hey i also put on an intake and you can tune it to that you can tune it to the headers you can tune it to the exhaust <clears throat> and you can also tune it to the um the, the tires and the lift so that's what's nice about those kind of tuners is uh it's like an all-in-one kind of thing which is really really nice um also it can be used for if you decide to go with a really expensive modification like a supercharger i'll get to that <laughs> Um, but yeah, so yeah, it's really functional for a lot of things. And then if you do actually take it to a professional shop, 
they can put their own tunes in on it and stuff like that so a tuner is probably going to be your most bang for your buck um <clears throat> you know like i said it runs 350 to the 900 dollars range and then obviously <clears throat> if you were going to try to get as much power for your money it's either going to be the supercharger or a twin turbo kit on that specific model <clears throat> on that one they run uh, the turbo kit that I've seen that doesn't include a tuner runs about 2500 to 3000 but that doesn't include install, anything like that, so you would have to do all that yourself and the tuner. Um, turbos are nice. I, in this instance, I don't know if I'd put a twin turbo kit on the Silverado. I'd probably go with the supercharger kit. Uh, they, I know they make a good Vortex one, uh, and you know those run a supercharger without install uh runs anywhere from about five thousand to about eight thousand for one of those and again that's not including install <clears throat> sorry still trying to recover from covid a little bit um so yeah like i said it's anywhere from five to eight thousand but you're gonna get the most bang for your buck and it's gonna be one of the most more reliable ways to go is uh gonna be with that so yeah, I hope um, you found this video helpful. Uh, I guess I can go, I can rate stuff from lowest to highest. So from the list of mods that I have, um, I would say when throttle body spacer, I would give a three out of five star. Uh, that runs 30 to $50. Then you have a cold air intake that can run anywhere from $90 for a cheap one to about 350. Then the headers, um, the intake I'd probably also give a three out of five headers i would definitely give a four out of five but the headers again like i said run anywhere from uh 300 to about a thousand depending on what kind you go with long tube shorties it really depends um long tube you're going to get a lot more performance out of shorties you still get some performance if they still open up a little bit um long tube would be the best way to go i would give those a four out of five star review the exhaust um performance wise didn't notice a whole lot but I also like the sound of it. It sounded really good. So for me, I'd give that a four out of five. And then, like I said, a tuner and a supercharger and the gears would be the next things to do if you're gonna do it. And then, um, yeah, I, if you're gonna go cheapest to lowest, I would recommend definitely doing the gears and definitely getting the tuner. If, especially if you're only gonna choose two things, gears and tuner, and you're gonna notice a huge difference in your power and your torque, especially if you have a lifted truck. Um, yeah, so I hope you found this helpful. Like, subscribe, and thank you for watching 303 Streets. Have a good day.